What's up, YouTube? Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to be making the beans with chorizo, so stay tuned to find out. But before we get started, don't forget to like, press that subscribe button, share, and comment down below what you think of our recipe. So for your ingredients, you're going to need black pepper, salt, garlic, which you can use whole garlic, fresh garlic. Um, this is just what I have in our uh, cabinet at the moment. And then this pinno bean seasoning is so awesome, guys. I recommend you guys get it. It makes your beans taste delicious. And then we have our onion, cilantro, our chorizo. We need vegetable oil. And then over here, we have the beans soaking. And the reason I have them soaking is because you always need to wash your beans because there could be dirt or little rocks. And then the ones that are broken normally come to the surface and then you just take them out. Yeah. Okay guys, so I have it on medium heat right now. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil. About probably three tablespoons. And then my little assistant here is gonna, this is my daughter Gianna, is gonna add the chorizo. I don't know how to add it. Just throw it in there. Good job. And then we're gonna get our spoon and just chop it up that way it cooks. Like an alligator. I'm chopping something up, guys. But it's just it's a spoon chopping it up. Me and my mom always do this. And as soon as we're done, we're gonna show you, okay guys? Okay, so now that we have it all smushed up and cooking, you ready to show them? Our this hearts? Is, yes, and then we always say love is important to our family because we know that love is always important to our family guys and if you don't love your family but you have to love your family guys because you just have to okay so we're gonna fry up the pretty food and i don't know if you can see like how there's a different color right here compared to the others so we needed all that color Okay, so now since it's fully cooked and we chopped it up into pieces, we're going to go ahead and add the onion. And this is just half of the onion. And we're just going to give this a little stir. And then you're gonna let this cook just for maybe about five minutes. And then we're gonna add the beans, the water, and the seasonings. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. And so now we're gonna go ahead and add our beans. So we're gonna come over here and drain them a little bit. We're going to add the beans to the pretty soon. And we're going to add water. Oh, look how beautiful the color is, guys. Just give that a little stir. It smells good. It does smell good. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our black pepper. And guys, I don't have measurements for this stuff. I just do it as my liking of taste. And you can always add more as you go. Just keep tasting your beans. And we're gonna add the salt now. Good. 
and then the garlic. Okay, so we're gonna give this a little stir now. Mm, that smells so good already. And then the last seasoning we're gonna add is the pinto bean seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> Lost the cap there. And just go ahead and give this another stir. And then you're gonna let it sit maybe for about two to three hours. And then you're probably gonna have to add more water during the process of it cooking. So this is what it looks like now. So we're gonna let that cook and I'm gonna leave it on medium heat and we'll be back in about two hours. It's been two hours now and this is what it looks like. I did have to add another cup of water, but overall these look delicious and I think they're done. The beans are real soft and the chorizo is cooked and the flavor is just delicious. The color is beautiful. So let's get a bowl and try them. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a little in my bowl with some juice. And turn off the heat. And I'm gonna bring this over here, guys, so you can see. I know it's a little steamy, but look how delicious that looks. The chorizo, it's beautiful. So normally, I'll add a little cilantro on top or even to cook inside the beans, but I think it's perfect just the way it is. So here's the taste test. It's extremely hot, so be careful. That is good. Super delicious. So that's it for today's guys. So I want to take the second to thank my daughter for helping me cook. And my son Max has something to say. How do you like that? How do you like comment? He said to leave your comments in the comment box. I hope you guys enjoyed our recipe and we hope you give it a try. And we love you guys so much. Bye guys. Bye guys. Until next time. <laughs>